Hi everyone. Today, I'm going to share with you the most beautiful candles for the holidays, starting with fall all the way through winter. So I picked out my very favorite to share with you guys. These candles are truly a little step above. They are all soy candles. The packaging, as you can see, is just glorious. Good enough for a substantial gift. I think the price points on these are about less than $40, but they make such lovely gifts for the holiday. So I wanted to start with the fall ones since we are still in fall season. You will see that in my videos, I won't have a Christmas video until after Thanksgiving. Sorry, that's the way I plan it because that's the way I live. Maybe next year it will be different if you guys feel like you need information way before the holiday, write in the comments and let me know what you think. I'm one of those sticklers. I do not decorate for Christmas for our Thanksgiving dinner. I have never done that and it's not gonna happen this year either. And I know some families choose that time to do that, but for me, it just doesn't work out that way. I really enjoy savoring each holiday and it's complete atmosphere in every sense from the smells, the scents, the decoration, the tastes. I want to be in that holiday. And I wanted to start with my amber pumpkin woodsy smells that you guys will be able to enjoy in the upcoming weeks. These are four selections for right now the pumpkin scents that you can live with and enjoy with your family in the next few weeks. I'm going to start with La Jolie pumpkin chai. I have actually an entire video on it. I have been enjoying this candle for so long. It's just such a beautiful scent. It smells like pumpkin creme brulee. It has a sweetness to it. It's very strong like this, but once you light it, it just imbues the entire house with this lovely scent. And the cut glass packaging is just gorgeous. La Jolie Muse has become one of my favorite candle makers. They just have value there. You will see that their jars are very similar to the candles that you can purchase at Anthropology, both in quality and in beauty. This is a candle that I've already talked about, but it is worth mentioning. It is one of my favorite candles and I've been using it since September. The next candle from Lazuli Muse is, let me smell it and see if I can tell what it is before. Oh, this, it almost has a soapy smell. That would be like my first thing, but it has other notes to it. It is a much milder candle than the pumpkin chai. Look at this lovely, lovely container. It is called Moroccan Amber, and it has that warmth that you need for the holidays without jumping at you and saying, it's a Thanksgiving candle. So the box says it is a Moroccan Amber, smells like refreshing eucalyptus, warm amber, and dusk in Morocco. Whatever the smell of dusk is, Anyway, it is just a lovely candle. They changed the wrappings for their candles. These are, they have a more modern look. I have one that I will put the image here of this sweet pea one that is just so lovely and makes it for a fabulous gift to a child. Just lovely. By the way, I am not affiliated with any of these candles, but most of them were sent to me for free. So I will mention it and I am thanking La Jolie Muse for sending me these lovely candles. 
The next scandal that I wanted to show also was a gift. It was gifted to me by Love and Linger, and I did reach out to them. This is a quite a luxury brand. It's hand poured soy and beeswax. It's malt cider, a delectable warm scent of apple, cinnamon, and allspice berries. And I just loved it, and I chose this one because it's an in-between candle. It's something that you can use now all through the holidays. It has three wicks in it and it does have a sweetness that it's almost too much. I am not a sweet candle. It's almost too fruity. But then as you let the scent settle into your senses, it smells like apples, but not the garish apple smells that you would get from unnamed candles. I will not say the names, but just a more delicate, like mulled cider, truly. A more blended, melted, melded, something that would have been cooking in the stove for hours, just like your mulled cider would. In the box that it comes from, they send this little card. Each candle is exquisitely handmade. Some variations may occur with the handmade process and do not affect the fragrance or burn in any way. We hope you can appreciate this labor of love by embracing its uniqueness. Love and linger. I'm really happy with the scent. And I actually want to light it to see and give you an update at the end of the day. I'll let it burn here for us while I'm reviewing the other candles. Another gift that was sent to me was by this company called Re-Idea. And this is a lighter that you charge in your computer in one of those little charging blocks. Once you charge it, you clip it on, you turn it on, there's a blue light, and there is a a charge that goes across and that's how you light your candles what i have noticed okay several things about this lighter that i am loving one is i'm not cutting trees for matches even though i love lighting candles with matches there's just some magic and old-fashioned uh, feel about that. I do try to use the gas lighters, but I always have such a hard time filling the gas. You can't ship it. You actually have to go. Anyway, it's always a nightmare. So I thought these were such a great handy little uh, contraption. Charge it, turn it on. Just remember to turn it off. Otherwise, the charge will run out really quickly and the way you would do it and you will notice it takes a little bit longer than your traditional flame first you will spend a little time melting the beeswax from the candle wick before it actually can catch on fire you're not relighting it or burning yourself your fingers i really think this is a cute little idea so i'm pretty happy with that they uh, sent me three colors, but I think they are—they have been so popular that the only color available right now is rose gold, which I have none of. I will put a link to any of these products. If I have a link or a discount code, it will be in the description. So just make sure you go in the description and look for the item and make sure to use the discount code if there is one. So let's let this beautiful mulled cider ah, candle burn to day while we test the next ones. I'll give you an update. Now this is an honorable mention. I loved the scandal. I found this at Target and they had several of these little pumpkins around. So cute. And I smelled every single one of them and I could not stand any of them but I fell in love with the one called Woods. That is the one you want. The one that says Woods. That's the one you want no matter what. It has a little, little leather. I think it's some rubber. It's not true leather on top. But it just smells so beautiful. The smell is still lingers in here. It's a very masculine smell without being aggressive. It smells a little bit like sandalwood and soap. 
just a clean, lovely smell. Every single morning, I like this candle. Next time I go to Target, I'm gonna hunt for it and I'm buy as many as they have. But, you know, uh, and then after you are done burning, you get to keep this little one. But make sure you get the one that says woods. Again, that is the only one that I thought was sophisticated and lovely and it truly has lived up to my expectations of the candle. So nice. That was it for our Thanksgiving candles. Now let's move on to Christmas. And I might do another Christmas one later on, but since I had these candles, I wanted to go ahead and share them with you. And again, from the same company, this is Love and Linger, again, what a lovely gift if you have hostess a party so many parties from now through christmas this is the time to be handing out these gifts this one it's called evergreen it smells like pine cedar and musk and even though i'm not a musk person i fell in love with this candle oh it is so beautiful and clean. It smells like a Christmas tree. There's no other word to describe it. It literally smells like my home when I bring in my fresh Christmas trees at Christmas time. If you have a fake Christmas tree and you want that scent of fresh, real Christmas tree, this would be lovely. And then, again, as a gift, so nice. I mean, I'm pretty happy with this one. I actually, between the two of the malt cider and the evergreen, I prefer the evergreen. If you're not an evergreen candle person because it smells like cleaning products, I will assure you this does not smell like cleaning products, but it does have that beautiful evergreen scent. And again, just like a fresh Christmas tree, I love it truly love it and now the next two are again from la jolie muse and how gorgeous are these this is just a piece of art the way they designed it guys i swear these people don't pay me for doing these videos Eventually, I hope someday they'll pay me to do the videos, but I truly enjoy the product. This is just gorgeous. Let me see this one. This one is a one wick. It smells like, a, like Christmas, you know, Christmas greenery, but it has a sweetness to it. This one is Fraser Fur. It smells like crisp greenery, comforting musk, and a cabin blanketed in snow. So cute how they describe their candles. They, they describe the actual notes of the candles plus the location, like the Moroccan amber at, at dusk in Morocco. How cute is that? I smell some, a sweetness to it. A very elegant sweetness. Very lovely. Frasian fur. This one is woodiness fragrance smells like bold woods persimmon and the stillness of morning in the valley <laughs> it actually gives me the top notes are persimmon sweet orange apple peach mid notes of rose jasmine gardenia coconut and the base notes of musk and sandalwood i smell soap I mean, it's lovely. Again, the jar alone, I would buy it for it. But, and they smell apple. This could be, even though the color of the color green, this would be a good gift to give right now as people would be enjoying that crisp apple scent in it. Maybe that's why it's green for the appleness. So lovely. Again, I have yet to find a bed smelling leisurely muse and i have received and purchased several this one is just a crisp clean scent i would say this is more like an apple fragrance than a fur piney fragrance so that's the difference between the two earlier today with the moroccan one was definitely uh, 
just a little bit more masculine but lovely and warm so these were my leisurely muse and of course the pumpkin chai from before any of these candles if i were to pick a favorite between these three the fraser smells like fraser and it's very clean and it's subtle this is a crisp apple i like it i don't love it why because i don't prefer fruity i will fruity will be always be at the bottom of my list although it's a lovely one i wonder if i don't like fruity because it just makes me want to eat <laughs> and this one i do like this one a lot i think it's an elegant scent it's like i said it has hints of masculine which makes it i think a little more elegant and warm for this time of the year when it's cool and get, it's gonna get cold this brings that warmth so i would say the moroccan amber is probably my favorite of these three of those two from uh love and ginger this just makes me so freaking happy so evergreen get this one it is awesome <laughs> it's just one of those happy candles uh, smells like christmas just i think it's hands down now while i was looking at candles this company has also i think i reached out to them because i thought their candles were so lovely they have it's called prime vols it's more of the idea than the scent the, the scent themselves because there is a potpourri of candles in here the prime valve and obviously i don't know i think it might be from india the lovely packaging is just part of the fun and i think it would make a great gift a hostess gift or a gift to a child my daughter she's not allowed to burn candles in her room all the time but sometimes i let her she just loves the idea of having candles she's 13 but i think maybe when she's 15 i'll feel more comfortable with it this would be such a lovely gift set for a young lady that likes candles and is still experimenting <laughs> look at how cute the card is this box right here and i'll put the price somewhere in here i don't know how much this one is there are 12 candles and each one comes in a different little jar like so these are metal you know a little metal container and in different colors with paisley the scent i would not say is as sophisticated as these other candles but they are fun and it's again i think the packaging the idea that you're getting a set and you're getting several oh what a fun gift for a young lady this one is yummy this one is spring so you see this is not even part of my selections for the holiday other than it would make a lovely gift if you want to just give a little something you can break this up into 12 tiny little gifts for everybody in your classroom or just give it to a teenager i'm sure they'll love it they have scents like vanilla, blueberry, lemon, just adorable. Look at this blue one, so cute. I think it just makes a super cute little gift. So I hope you enjoyed today's video, getting ready for the holidays and prepping ahead, purchasing small gifts like this. It's always good to have a few gifts for those friends that come over and brought you something and you had nothing for them. These would make excellent gifts for anybody. Leisurely Muse and the Love and Linger are definitely more sophisticated in scent. Leisurely Muse, my favorite. I, I'm, I can't say enough good things about that this candle collection i am challenging different candle companies to 
send me their candles so I can compare because I think right now I'm using La Jolie Muse as the gold standard in my comparisons. I just love their product. The Love and Linger, the quality of the candle is just as good. The scent is just as good. But I think packaging wise, you can see the difference that this one is so much more stylish. But this is a decision that Love and Linger may or may not uh, think is important or you as a consumer may not think it's important. I just think that this is just like a jewel. Anybody that would get a gift packaged in such gorgeous cut glass would absolutely fall head over heels for these gifts. Just lovely. The scent of this one is there. It's a lot more candle, so the value is there and they have a triple wick. So the candle will probably throw, that's the word that they use, throw the scent much further because of the increased surface area that's gonna be melted. These little Prime Volve candles would make such perfect cute little gifts, you know, make a set with a tiny little candle, an eye cream or a hand cream or some things to make you relax and take care of yourself. Lovely. I'm wearing my top from the Nordstrom video.